moment. So it's been incredibly successful in Israel. I know a priority um, is to try to um, sell the system internationally. I know it's also being adapted for the United States. So let's first start with global sales. Why haven't international buyers showed themselves yet? I think the, the, the answer is quite complicated. First of all, from Israel perspective, this is a strategic weapon system. So we have to choose who are the customer that we would like to sell this uh, uh, system because we understand that the moment the other side will understand how it works, it might be a risk to Israel. So we are working very carefully to find the right customer. Of course, on the other hand, you have to find the customer that has this kind of threats. Uh, and this is also difficult because, as you probably know, the atmosphere and the arena in the Middle East, in our neighborhood, is quite unique. Uh, but the potential to a lot of nations to get this kind of threats, like we are facing, or to face this kind of threats, is quite big, especially when we are speaking about what's happening with the uh, expanding of the terror all over the world. So this is in the international market. Speaking on the U.S. market, I think there is a big potential. And we are working nowadays with Raytheon. We understand that Raytheon is our strategic partner, and we are working with them in order not only to convince, but also to present the capabilities of the Iron Dome system 